Welcome to Little Known Black History Facts. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Edmund Albius, inventor of vanilla processing. Edmund Albius invented the process of pollination of vanilla when he was only 12 years old. His technique allowed for the pollinating of the vanilla orchids quickly and profitably. Albius's technique revolutionized the cultivation of vanilla and made it possible to profitably grow vanilla beans away from their native Mexico. Edmund, at the time of his discovery, was a slave who was born on the island of Bourbon, known today as Reunion. After his parents died, he was sent to work with Farol Bellier Beaumont, who initiated him into horticulture and then botany. Edmund spent most of his time following Beaumont around the estate, tending to the estate's plants. French colonists brought vanilla beans to Reunion in the 1820s with the hopes of starting production there. However, the vines were sterile because no insect would pollinate them. The vanilla orchid has only one known pollinator, the melipona bee. Both are native to Mexico. So when the vanilla orchid was first exported in the late 1700s around the world, none of the plants produced vanilla pods. There did exist a method of hand pollinating vanilla, but this technique was slow and required too much effort to make cultivating vanilla a money-making proposition. In 1841, Edmund, at the age of 12, discovered the practical process for the pollination of vanilla, a process which revolutionized the culture of vanilla. He discovered how to quickly pollinate the vanilla orchid with a thin stick or blade of grass and a simple thumb gesture. With the stick or grass blade, filled hands would lift the flap that separates the male plant part from the female plant part and then, with their thumbs, smear the sticky pollen from the male part over the female part. This procedure was called marriage. The French called it les gestes d'Edmond, Edmond's gesture. Soon, Edmond was traveling, teaching his pollination method to other enslaved persons. Beaumont championed Edmond and insisted on the acknowledgement of his role in the narrative, giving him full credit. Albius's manual pollination method is still used today as nearly all vanilla is pollinated by hand. His discovery thereby allowed the island of Reunion to become for a while the largest world supplier of vanilla and the cradle for the diffusion of his process. Since this discovery was made by a child who was black and a slave, the invention was quickly contested by all the jealous people. An unscrupulous French botanist pretended that he had taught the technique to Albius three or four years earlier. The lie would reach its height when at the beginning of the 20th century, the French press would go as far as to claim that Edmund Albius was white. Giving full credit to his former slave and retaining none for himself was unexpected. Edmund's former enslaver, Beaumont, refuted the claim, writing directly to the historian of Reunion to declare that Edmund was the true inventor. Through the preservation of these writings, Edmund Albius hasn't been lost to history and has been given the credit he deserves. Albius eventually gained his freedom with the abolition of slavery involving France in 1848, but he did not get any financial benefit from his discovery, which made fortunes for the planters and for the French economy. Albius died in poverty in St. Suzanne in 1880 at the age of 51. Edmund Albius is the main reason that vanilla is as accessible as it is today. Edmund, who didn't have a last name until he was freed in 1848, improved the economics of his home island. Because of his pollination method, the French colony surpassed Mexico in vanilla production. Demand for vanilla increased with supply. Vanilla is now predominantly grown on the largest island of the African continent, Madagascar. Today, there is a street named after Edmund, a school, and a bronze statue stands in St. Suzanne, one of Reunion's oldest towns. Until next time, if you like little known history facts as I do, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. 
press the bell to be notified of future uploads. Thank you for watching.